In the previous exercise, we used the rather awesome symbol sprayer tool to spray a series of tree symbols and create this forest effect on our map. And in doing so, that created a symbolism group, which is fine. However, you will notice that it's still selected. If I then go to another part of my document artboard and click and drag and add more symbols, it actually adds it to the same symbol group. The downside is that now it's a little bit trickier to edit them because if I try and move one collection of forest trees, it will move the other as well. It is possible to go up to the object menu and choose expand and that would turn our group of symbols back into individual symbols that we could move around. But there is an alternative to this. So if I just go back a couple of steps and make sure that my original set of symbols are deactivated, I can return back to my symbol spray tool and create a second collection of trees in a different part of the document as before. But this time you'll notice that they are separated from one another, making them much easier to move around and edit.